Wednesday. We know scam calls not a new thing, but there's this new national grid scam and it's trying to target places with more money to lose. We're talking like business owners. The scam threatens owners saying their power will be cut off and a business in Amherst might have been targeted here. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent live at the digital dashboard for us this morning with how you can protect yourself. Yeah, we've all been there questioning whether or not we paid our bills on time or if we even paid them at all. Now it's even scarier when a phone call threatens to cut off your service and even more so if you're a business that serves hundreds of customers. That's what happened to a local family, but they were smarter than the scammers. This is how the scam works. A person claiming to be a national grid representative calls you and demands money for an overdue bill. They then threaten to shut off your power unless you pay immediately. The owner of an Amherst Subway sandwich shop received one of these calls and called the number back. There was an automated menu just like National Grid would have, and it all seemed really convincing. Restaurant owner John Schott and his family didn't fall so fast. They called the actual power company and checked their bill standing, which was all up to date. John's daughter then called the scammers, hoping to find out who was behind all of this. And it seems actually these scammers have already moved on to impersonating other power companies. This one from Kansas. Uh, do you have an account with Star, ma'am? Uh, yes. Can I speak to a supervisor, please? Yes, ma'am, but I need to pull up your account first. If I may have your account number. Um, I would like to speak to a supervisor first. Um, I just want to know why I'm receiving calls saying that I owe money within 30 to 40 minutes. And if it's not paid, that my gas and electric is going to be shut off. I just got hung up on. Yeah, you can hear they're very convincing and they don't want to answer any of our questions. You can hear that full call on our app and find tips directly from National Grid on how to spot a scam. Remember, National Grid is never going to call you and demand a phone payment via prepaid debit cards. Also, make sure to check the number they're calling from and check if it matches the one on your billing statement. The Schott family says you should trust your gut and do your research before you make any moves like pulling out your wallet to make yeah. a payment. Mm -hmm. Again, right here, that full phone call, Lindsay calls the scammers and they just can't give her an answer. Live at the digital dashboard, I'm Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. That is great that we were able to capture that on camera and yeah. actually hear the guy's voice and hear what he has to say, kind of stonewalling her. Turn the tables exactly. a little bit. Thanks, Twila.